What's up Pokey people? It's a wanted turtle and today we are doing a special mail day. We have one, two, three, four, five things from Japan as well as another thing we recently acquired. Um, I did jump the gun on two of these packages. Uh, one for kind of like a nice picture and two because I was really excited to take a look at them. And this one is very special though, something I just had to confirm right away um, so we will probably start with some of the unopened packages I can't really show the other side that's where my address is so all of these are from uh, were shipped overseas uh, so these did come from Japan and whenever I do that over eBay it's kind of a roller coaster ride of emotions just because you're really excited to get some of the the um, newer products in from Japan uh, however at the same time you have to wait quite a while for it to get here for obvious reasons so let's see and uh, one nice thing though is so far I've had very good experience with uh, basically having to deal with overseas shipping like the vendors that I do shop from they do a very good job of making sure that nothing gets damaged on the trip and I hope I'm not jinxing, jinxing myself as we open our first package so alright so this one we have two oh look at that see this is what I'm talking about this it's in this very small box in this big envelope and then it's in bubble wrapped as well it's very very good customer service in general so however I'm not sure how to open alright let's just cut in half it's a very, very neat way to ship the, the cards. And look at this. It's like sleeved. And then there's a hard case. And then the card is probably sleeved too. So our first card is... So this is the... Some of the promos for the Yokohama reopening of the Pokemon Center, I believe. And so these are just some promos to commemorate that event. So we have some Pikachus and some sailor outfits and this Pikachu's <laughs> riding a little boat. Uh, so that's very cute. So two of the Yokohama Pokemon Center celebration promos for our first box. I'm pretty sure it's just those two cards. It looked like there weren't any other cards wrapped in there. Okay, let's see, how should I open this one? So some of them I kind of have to open because I can't confirm what's actually inside. And although usually for the, the Japanese ones, uh, when they come from Japan, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I can at least narrow it down between Pokemon and Magic. All right. So another thing about uh, Japan is they kind of like these like little stationary things, little tape, which is pretty cute. All right. I, once again, very, very well wrapped. And I see a top loader, so it should be safe to cut into it like this. All right, let's see what we got. So we have another screen Pikachu. These, this card is, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be a big deal way down the line. Um, and, ooh, I love this card. We have another Mario Pikachu. Uh, when I first heard about these promos, uh, when I actually looked looked them up and see if I could obtain some, the price was just really high. And I feel like it's gone down a little bit. Uh, it may be like leveled off. And when I first looked, like I could get a, some Luigi's, but not the Mario. So really happy to get this. The condition, actually Japanese cards always look the quality is just really high. Um, I think if you were to get any card graded, like you, you would be very unlucky to get a eight or below. So it's probably like a nine, maybe it's a ten. And then we have the screen Pikachu. Uh, and actually, guys, if you guys are interested in getting one of these, the prices, uh, I think when they first came out, it was like ridiculously high, like seventy-five dollars. And now you, if uh, if you're just a little patient, you can probably get them for like low twenties. Uh, so if, if you're interested, like, uh, actually it's the Mimikyu one that's super expensive. I had a video just on that topic. Um, 
so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it but yeah if you're interested in that pikachu i i would highly recommend you you do it uh in the go check right now if you're interested <laughs> make it simple um the other the three the rowlet uh eevee and psyduck those ones are cheap as well but they were never that expensive uh, i think if you again if you're a little bit patient you can get them for like nine dollars each but that pikachu i i have to imagine that in i don't know six months the price will definitely be higher all right let's move on to the next one so we have ooh, interesting so this looks very similarly packaged as the first one. So I'm guessing it's from the same seller. And over time it's good to know like what, what vendors are very reliable, especially when it comes to shipping times. Uh, so right now I'm waiting on a box of full metal wall, which is just taking forever to arrive. Oh, actually this is like just sealed just for these cards. There's actually no way to get into this. Man, that's that's good stuff right there. All right, but I guess that means I just have to cut into it again. So, you might be able to, oh geez. Maybe you can already tell what one of them is. We have yet another. <laughs> Scream Pikachu, again, these things are, these things are quite cheap. Or, they're not that expensive right now for low 20s shipped i think that's a very good deal and then we have that same pikachu promo interesting that i got the same card twice i'll have to double check that could have ah this one has a couple i think i i did opt for it to get one of Oh, that's interesting that... Oh, I think I got two of each, clearly. Um, I thought I did this in them in one order. But, no worries. So there you have it. We got two more of the Yokohama, as well as another Screaming Pikachu. And now we have this big box, um, which... Let's see, let's go through this card real quick. So... We've been talking a lot about Ultra Shiny, and maybe uh, when we hit like a sub goal, we'll open up another box of that. But like, there's a couple cards that are really sought after in that set. Uh, two of them being supporters that are simply very useful cards, that being the Guzma, as well as the Cynthia. And then however, as the Pokemon goes themselves, this is definitely the, the card to get. And it is, uh, maybe a lot of you are already familiar with it, it is. The Shining Charizard GX. Just a, such a nice SSR card. I would say the only, if I had to kind of ding this set a little bit, is like they introduce all these Shinies, which is great. Uh, and it's cool if they have the same moveset because it's from, it is from like those same Sun and Moon era. Um, part of me would have preferred if they use different art. Like maybe that's just a lot of work, but I feel like the, the, the set would have been an even bigger hit, which it already was in my, as far as I can tell, a pretty big success. Uh, but I feel like that would just put it on an even higher level if they were all new arts, or at least some of them, especially like the Charizard. That would, people would go crazy. All right, so this next box, we have some new Japanese boxes that I feel like are rather unique. Uh, I wonder if this will become a thing, and as far as I'm aware, this is definitely the first set, or first two iterations of it. So we have the Trainer Misty box. So this is actually kind of like a, uh, kind of like the equivalent of a dual deck for Magic the Gathering. So it is simply a pre-made deck of Misty cards that does come with a Starmie GX as well as a couple Misty cards. I think some of the Misty actually have do have alternate art. So here we can kind of see what's in it. So we do have a deck box um, and then special coin, some sleeves, and then a special deck featuring some Misty stuff and then Starmie. So very cool. Um, as of right now, I don't think I'm gonna open this. And let's see what else we got. So we actually do have 
two of the Misty. And so again, this is the first iteration. when you think about the back to the OG Pokemon game. So Misty was the, oh, what was that badge called? I can't remember the badge, but it was Cerulean City. So that, that's where she was the gym lane. That was the second gym with the first one, I think the Pewter, Pewter City or Boulder badge. Uh, so that's Brock. And so here we have the Brock um, equivalent. So features Onyx GX and we have similar stuff. So we have a very cool like Brock. Then they kind of have like new art where um, I don't think it's like chibi, but I don't know, that's what kind of what comes to mind. Uh, they're kind of like shorter. Um, so we got the deck box, the sleeves, some it's interesting as far as like the uh, American cards, one thing they don't skip on is like the damage counters, whereas in the Japanese they do. Uh, and then that deck again. And we should have a second one of Brock as well. So we, then we have the Brock. Um, given that there's actually no variants here, I would probably will elect to keep this, these boxes sealed. Um, if you are interested in seeing the cards themselves, like, you know, there, there's, I don't know, it's, it's the equivalent of doing an unboxing of the theme decks. Like, there's no surprise. Um, and I feel like they're just cooler to keep them sealed. So we have two of each of those. All right, now our final, maybe I'll just <laughs> do this last part on top of these boxes because uh, I think these are kind of cool. And now the final part. So this one I was really excited about. This one did not come from Japan like all the others. However, this, well, this was kind of like a lot kind of thing. So this was just uh, someone that had been collecting packs over a long period of time. Uh, they claimed that should be kind of like random, but they were kind of like throughout throughout time and it was unclear to me how familiar they were with what these packs might have been worth and so there was some a whole mix of some newer and older stuff and however those one that caught my eye that I just had to confirm so I already did so those two will leave in there for now and we'll just kind of go through what we have so we do have so a lot of these aren't actually that old so phantom forces xy um double crisis is i think a little actually it's interesting seven cards uh it's like it's not i wouldn't call it vintage but it's not new uh phantom forces again another double crisis with the groudon phantom forces well more phantom forces okay black and white era dragon is exalted i had to double check i don't think for some reason when i just saw dragons i thought this might be the ones with some of the gold stars but i don't believe that's the case Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted. Very cool. I actually never opened most of these packs. Dragon's Exalted again. And third time. It seems like they have like every pack art. Black and white. Boundaries crossed. More cards that I've never opened. I have I never opened any of the black and white series. Uh, very not all the XY. Plasma Blast. Legendary treasures. And just, I don't know, during my hiatus, it's just cool to see, get a taste, get a feel for all the stuff I missed, and then <laughs> Forbidden Light. Okay, so the last two things, maybe you can see it partially. So we do have a Series 1. So I think this came from like, um, if you played in a tournament. So it just contains two cards, and I don't know off the top of my head. I think I think it's like series f two or five that had like some of the best cards, and it's really difficult to get one of the hits. Uh, that's why the cards are I think like the Espeon Umbreon Gold Stars are just a crazy amount of money, and it's not even foil, but actually makes it more difficult to obtain that because you can't actually weigh the packs. And so maybe you guys can recognize this. So yes, this is a base set pack sealed and it's even the Charizard pack art so this is just so cool to have um, some it, it's clearly it's not open but it's like I don't know it's like it got dinged a little bit on the side it's kind of unfortunate um, but very cool to have just a loose pack of base set 
oh if you guys haven't checked um i'll try to put like a card somewhere but there's an even crazier uh thing that i obtained very recently uh I'll give you a hint it's something to do with this but just on a whole nother scale but i was just really happy with this purchase um it was actually really cheap for because like most of these packs aren't really worth anything or worth very little but that base set definitely definitely a keeper something to to tuck away and i don't know it's like a small piece of history for me very nostalgic uh, so there you have it guys, so we got some very cool Japanese promos uh, in the form of the Yokohama promos as well as some more screen Pikachus. We got the Misty and Brock dual decks, the shiny Charizard, I think it would be awesome if we could pull our own in our ultra shiny opening. And then some modern to vintage um, packs, loose packs. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this mail day. This video took a little bit longer than I expected. Apologize for that. Um, however, just a reminder, if you do want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button, especially if you did like this kind of opening. I'm constantly uh, looking to acquire new stuff and you know, just your feedback kind of lets me know what it is that you guys like to see. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate if you join our community. Um, this video, we do do, ah, we do post videos every day um, for or Pokemon or Magic the Gathering if you're interested in that game as well and if you do subscribe hit that bell so you get notifications for uh, new uh, new videos if you do play the online game let me know in a comment below uh, and I'll hit you up with a code uh, same thing for you know hit me up on Instagram as well link in the description for my Instagram account other than that thanks for watching guys I'm a wand turtle and I will catch you guys next time peace